then uh, The Curse of Hobbs House was provided to me for review by 4 Digital Media. I did post an unboxing of this. If you'd like to check that out, just search for The Curse of Hobbs House on my channel. So this one is kind of a zombie movie with a little bit, like a little bit of a twist. So there's this house, and I guess at some point in the past, um, there was a king, and he was like, for whatever reason, he like killed this guy and took his house and took his land, and the guy's name was Hobbs, and um, on his last dying breath, he cursed the house or the land or something um, that everyone there would be cursed, or and there would be like these zombies that would protect the house. I didn't understand the exact curse. Um, they they always have like a weird way they said it, but uh, so the there's these zombies, but they're not real. They're not like traditional zombies. They're maybe a little bit modified and maybe not exactly zombies. Um, they didn't necessarily have to bite you. And so this girl, she's really down on her luck. And I, I think her name was Jane. And, you know, I would say overall the acting in this was average to above average. But I thought the woman who played Jane did a, a really good job in this one. And she uh, she's, like, down on her luck, broke, her car barely works. She just lost her job. And she finds out her aunt is dead. And they call it an accident, but she committed suicide. And even as she's explaining to her that she committed suicide, they call it an accident. So it was a little bit of a weird way to uh, word that. But she's told that she has to go to the house uh, for the reading of the will. And I believe it's her sister. I was a little confused exactly what she is. Uh, it says here half-sister. Um, she's also there with her husband or boyfriend, or I, I didn't understand exactly, uh, what they were and the caretaker and the, the lawyer, and they all go to the house. And of course, um, some strange things kind of start happening and some zombies show up and overall, you, you know, they're, <laughs> you know, and they're trying to figure out a way to escape, but of course there's no way to escape. Uh, <laughs> and overall guys, I, I, I enjoyed it. Um, there were parts where I felt like the story got a little slow and it, it just wasn't doing it for me. But overall, you know, I, I feel like for a modest budget title, it was pretty interesting. I definitely like this one. I gave it a three out of five.